Hi. Sorry I'm late. Uh, thanks for waiting. Now, for those of you who are not Bill Bissett or uh, are pretty sure you're not, I want to assure you that I'm very fond of you as well. <laughs> but this, uh, this address, this little devotion is to Bill himself. For as his 80th birthday approacheth, I want to remind him of something I've told him more than once in the past. That his writings, paintings, and performances, as well as just his very presence in this world, have been uh, inspirational forces in my life since I first discovered his poetics back in, oh, must have been the, the second millennium. Let's see, uh, I would have been around 17. Yeah, second millennium. And now here we are in November 2019. So, Bill, uh, as a tribute on the eve of this majestic occasion, I'm going, so far as I can tell at this moment, uh, to read a poem you once wrote specifically for everyone in the world, or so I presume. This is from a book uh, you named after the most revolutionary and fun sort of cogitations, incorrect thoughts. I was doing a reading in a high school, and the toxic landfill recently discovered under the playground and monitored constantly was above what they called normal that day. So all the windows of the school were kept closed. The principal, he said to me, it's better to be safe than sorry. I certainly couldn't agree more, I said, yes. And I recalled that the university had tried to fire the left-wing professor who had discovered the toxic landfills leaking in so many local real estate deal sites, so important to the economic development of the whole community. It's also terrific to know what the normal rate of toxic leaking is, and that there is a normal rate, one that can't hurt us at all, and that just closing windows can so effectively deal with any possible danger and totally seal off a building. Have a raging birthday, Bill. Thanks for all the presents you've given us over the years. Love and magic, uh, what do you call them again? Uh, those, uh, the multicolored arcs that sometimes they appear in the sky after precipitation, like they, they refract the sun's light. Uh, well, you know what I mean. Happy birthday. <laughs>